Hello and welcome, this is Israel Lopez, and in this video, we're going to have a crash course on Tableau for Fishbowl. So let's talk about uh, Tableau and Fishbowl. Well, if you are if you already have Fishbowl, you'll know that that's the, uh, a very good small business uh, inventory and warehousing and manufacturing control solution for companies who connect to both QuickBooks and Zero Online Accounting. Additionally, uh, Tableau is an analysis product uh, made by Tableau Software uh, that allows you to connect to various different databases and analyze that, that, that data very, very quickly. It's a bit higher level than, say, Excel, and you'll see why. In Tableau, you can do uh, these sorts of uh, dashboard kind of analysis or ad hoc analysis based on the data set that you've got within your uh, solution, either that's uh, files, CSVs, Excel files, or databases, or website analysis like Google Analytics and things like that. And Fishbowl primarily works for the data that happens in the warehouse, uh, sales, purchasing, manufacturing, that kind of data. So it's a very good fit for my customers who are considering to do a, a kind of a, a bit more advanced analysis than say Excel because of the data that they need to analyze. Uh, Excel doesn't have graphs, uh, Excel doesn't have graphs, Excel doesn't have maps, it doesn't have the kinds of analysis that uh, Tableau does. And if you go ahead and take a look at uh, Tableau, there you watch their little two minute video, you'll get a, a much better understanding of what Tableau is about. But what we're gonna do is take the data from Fishbowl Inventory, take the analysis engine out of Tableau, and a particular idea, uh, we're gonna do sales by product, and just graph that, and we're also going to do a sales map inside of uh, Tableau using the data that's outside of uh, that's inside of Fishbowl inventory. And this is going to be very quick. It's not going to be very exhaustive. We're just going to do a basic crash course in the two products and getting the two systems talking to each other. Okay. Let's. Uh, what we're going to do first is switch over to Tableau. And Tableau is. Uh, going to look like this. This is after you've installed it. It has a 14-day trial. And to get Tableau connected to uh, Fishbowl, we need to use the Firebird database connection. Our server here, in this case, is going to be localhost. The database is going to be somewhere we browse, and that'll be very easy for us. We just browse to the Fishbowl Inventory 2015 database. And the username for this is going to be Gone Fishing. And that's it. Tableau has an already has an existing connection to Firebird databases. Uh, there's nothing else other than that that you need to do if you're connecting to this from a separate computer. You you'll do you will need to do separate things, and I'll show you how to do that later. But from here, you can actually see some data like accounts or account groups, uh, and it'll try to connect the data sources based on what we're doing here. But instead of doing something like this, we're just going to do a custom SQL. And to get that custom SQL, I'm going to navigate to a, a prepared post I've put on our uh, user group for a basic sales query. And I'm going to paste that into Tableau. Preview the results to make sure they work. Yep, working great. Close it up. And now we've got some results. So. Real quickly, we were able to connect Tableau to Fishbowl and get some results. And now what we're going to do next is do some analysis on that. Let's go to Sheet 1. The way that Tableau kind of works is that they've got uh, concepts of dimensions and measures. If you ever did analysis cubes or anything like that in Excel, you, it'll be pretty similar to what you've experienced before. Uh, we're going to pull out the product number. And we're going to pull out the total price. And then we're going to do a graph. And there you go. Real easy, real quick, real fun. <laughs> so let's do something else. We're going to do, uh, let's do ship to state. We're going to right click on that and we're going to say convert to geographic role of uh, state province. Now that it knows what's a state. And we're going to do total price again. 
and we're going to use the show me section here to do a map of our data and there you go real quickly we were able to do a quick and dirty map of where we're making a lot of sales so in the fishbowl inventory uh, bicycles database uh, apparently we've been selling a lot to Oregon very little to Utah and some to California but if I actually had a customer's database where I felt comfortable showing their metrics to you I could actually populate the whole United States with their uh, US sales and show you how uh, you can easily drill into the data that's in Fishbowl and figure out what's going on here so you can you know, for example you can right click on Oregon click on view data look on the other underlying data and kind of drill down directly to what Tableau was saying uh, why uh, Oregon was a, a good pick for uh, these sales and that's really it uh, real quickly that like I said this is a quick and, quick and dirty crash course um, let's talk about pricing now Tableau is a bit expensive it's 2000 for the desktop product that allows you to connect to the uh, two databases like Firebird, like Firebird and Fishbowl Inventory. They do offer a $500 two-hour training. That's kind of like a quick setup. And uh, as you met, as you saw earlier, I use some custom SQL. You don't necessarily have to use custom SQL. Tableau does have a, a natural query engine that you kind of pick and choose uh, where to go. But I do recommend that you work with someone who knows the Fishbowl Inventory database to get to the answers that you're looking for, because it's very difficult to. Um, well, it's not it's difficult, but it's easy for you for one to look at the wrong data and come away with the wrong conclusion uh, when you really should have been looking at this other field, for example. Um, and that's that's it. If you have any questions regarding this little uh, crash course, please give us a call. Uh, otherwise, you can uh, talk to us on uh, fbusergroup.com. Thanks. Take care.